What's up guys, Axis and Alloys here. I have my Global War 1939 board all set up and ready to go. I'm ready for a YouTube war, which will be announced shortly. Um, and I will make sure to have links and stuff to that everywhere. I wanted to go over some of the things you're gonna see in my YouTube war, uh, what that means, um, just because my setup's probably significantly different than other people who might play the game. Um, just going off of the materials and resources I have um, as I continue to upgrade my game uh, and customize it even more. So let's start off with um, let's start off with some semi-apparent things. First off, if you ever see a little square like that, it's not a major. It is a, an airbase that we're just we don't have enough uh, cardboard chips yet uh, to represent that there. Next up, the double round L is a fortress. Those are destroyed once a territory is captured, so hopefully by the end of the game we don't have many of those. Next, we have in Saigon, that is a Vichy French territory. As you can see, French Indochina is a, got nothing on it. Nothing on a French territory will mean free French. If there's an upside down round, oh, we are representing that with a Vichy French. This one just has an upside down Japanese round, oh, because Japanese are probably going to take that. Next up, the two infantry here. The one with the flipped up Japanese round, oh, is going to represent the veteran infantry. And that's how it's going to work for almost every unit on the board. Uh, with a flipped up, that basically symbolizes a special infantry. It's got something changed to it. The upside down roundel is representing the SNLF, which is a special, uh, special naval landing force of Japan. We're seeing that over here with the coastal Australian ba uh, battleship. It just has the upside down roundel, so it's showing that it's coastal. Same thing with this coastal Japanese sub right there. If we look up in China, we can see the Japanese roundel showing off our veteran fighters, veteran infantry. Moving over, we are going to the carriers here. Um, obviously, we're showing off the naval fighter, naval torpedo bomber, because it has the uh, flipped up roundel. And that is a special sculpt uh, taken from my 1941 Axis and Allies game, just showing that's a little different. For the US, we are using Corsairs and the P-40 Mustangs uh, to show off our different types of uh, United States fleet, United States ships. Trying not to reveal too much of the board. Uh, again, we have another fortification here, two roundels flipped up. Here we have a paratrooper because it has the flipped up roundel. Uh, you're probably gonna see some French troops here uh, over in here, over here we have uh, some, you know, U.S. troops obviously representing German troops in Argentina, U.S. in Liberia, and Iran. Obviously, those are not U.S. troops, they're just representing the neutrals there. Um, as you can see, we have British, U.S., it's, it's a healthy mix. We do have Turkish troops uh, representing Turkish troops. Obviously, that is a uh, airway so there. Just to kind of give you an overall look. Again, some fortifications here scattered throughout. We have the flipped up roundels, which are showing Vichy. We have the flipped up roundel showing the French Foreign Legion. Over here, we do have some United States Marine sculpts that we're using here. Same thing with the Dutch over in um, the Dutch colonies of the Pacific, using Dutch troops there. Uh, we're mixing it up over here. Have some Russians, but they're re representing the um, CCP. Uh, the Australians have made a worldwide tour featuring in Mongolia, uh, the regular Australian and South Africa all the way down there. And they are representing the Swedes and the Finnish. We have some proper Axis Miner sculpt. Uh, there in Romania, Japanese pieces representing Bulgaria, 
Italian representing Hungary. Hopefully the, something happens to those Hungarian pieces before the Italians start moving here. But, yep, just wanted to make this a quick video. Um, just showing off uh, what we're working with here um, to try to give uh, anyone who's viewing a better understanding. Um, so that way when you see a naval base like this, so I forgot to touch on this, a naval base that's on the two corners, it's for both. I, I once again ran out of those pesky cardboard chips. Um, so definitely getting some acrylic ones is on my bucket list to purchase. Um, but this game is very playable still. Um, just using out of box access and allies pieces. That's kind of what I'm trying to show here. Uh, only using a couple HBG pieces I have acquired over my time. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I will post, I'm playing the allies in my 1939 YouTube war. Um, so you'll see my Russian turn come up on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. This is Axe and Alloys signing off.